So, I... <sighs> I'm gonna tell you something today, but... Gotta keep it a secret. This, this, this can't get out, okay? This is just between you and me. Me and you. No one else is allowed to know. I'm gonna tell you guys the secret on getting first in line every single time with the Ticketmaster Smart Queue. But, no sharing. Not allowed. Can't tell anyone. It's just you and I, alright? Let's discuss. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name's Stress here on Thumbs Up, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking about a secret, a deep, dark secret hidden away in the broker world where no one talks about it because this, this is how you, you get ahead of everybody else. This is all about how to get first in line in the Ticketmaster Smart Queue every single time. This is the big one, okay? We, we, we gotta be really careful here. I don't wanna... I really didn't want to share this with everybody, but you know, you guys are my greatest fans, and I feel like it's only fair that I share this information with you. And honestly, it's not that hard at all. There's only three steps to it, but they're very, very secretive. So again, don't share this video with anybody. Capiche? Let's get started. Step one, must use a mobile device, okay? There is some secrets going on in the Ticketmaster algorithm and everything that's going on there, but if you use a mobile device, you can guarantee yourself first place in line every single time. Okay, it doesn't work on the computer, won't work on your iPad, cannot be some weirdo Microsoft tablet, whatever else is going on out there. Anything else though, I cannot guarantee that it's going to work, okay? So step one, all well and clear, you're using your mobile device, all right? Now, number two, they've got to be a relatively large band or artist. This event cannot be some small time one-off event. This has gotta be the big show. Pretty well known, they've been around for a while. They have to be pretty popular. The reason I say it has to be a relatively large band or artist is because the algorithm works in such a way that it will give you that bonus edge if they are a larger artist. I found with larger events and with being able to use my mobile device and the following step at the end that we use to kind of shimmy our way through the line, this is like the perfect combination for actually being able to jump ahead in the queue every single time. So. You got your mobile device, and you got your artist or band in mind that you're going to be using. And that's, that's the base, okay? So that's how we get ourselves started, all right? Now, I'm going to go through a live run here to prove to you that this will work every single time. Now, I'm holding on to that third step. I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet. So pay attention. But first, let's, let's take a look, all right? I'm going to show you. I'm not just making this up. This is going to work 100% of the time, every time, no matter what. Now, the artist I've selected for tonight is actually the Rolling Stones. So, you know, they're, I would say they're relatively large. They're well known. They are, they're a big, you know, big artist. And they've also recently announced that they, you know, are going to be rescheduling a bunch of their dates. They've all been, you know, pushed out. And they've even announced some new dates that are going to be going on sale. This is like the perfect storm here, all right? So we got our artist. We got our mobile device. Now we're going to get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into Ticketmaster. I'm going to search for the Rolling Stones. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're just going to load all our events. Now, there are a few events that are on pre-sale, but again, can't jump a queue that doesn't exist yet. So we got to look at some of these other events. Let's try this one here, Ford Field. Rolling Stones using my mobile device, hitting that big blue button to join the queue. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's see what queue spot I get this time. Number one, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number one. We did it. We got first in line. We jumped the queue. We are the best. All right. Now, still don't believe me? Let's, uh, let's, let's try one more, okay? Let's try one more. I know you guys don't believe me. Let's, let's try one more, okay? Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I'm going to go ahead, hit that big blue button, join the queue. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's see where we, uh, where we end up, shall we? Look at that, number one, oh yeah. Number one, every time, all the time. This is how you get first in line every single time. Are you guys interested in what step number three is? Step number three is to subscribe. Subscribe to this channel because you've all been got. What's going on here? Like I said, Rolling Stones, they just announced that they have rescheduled many of their dates as well as announcing a couple of new shows. And because of this, what they've done is they've said, hey, we're gonna get all our tickets to go back on sale with these new dates. And because they are a larger event, they are a larger, you know, they're, they're a relatively big performer, there is quite a bit of traffic looking at tickets for their events. And because of that, there is so much traffic that they've created a queue. 
Regardless of whether the tickets actually went on sale or not at this point, it doesn't matter. There's just too much traffic, so they're trying to control the flow of moving into the Ticketmaster queue, getting into those events, buying those tickets. This queue is really just there now in place regardless before we can get into any of the Rolling Stone events. Uh, and it's just gonna be there basically until the end of time potentially. You know, they are gonna remove this eventually, but for now, there is a queue in place. And because of that, there is currently not a whole lot of traffic going in in the evenings, allowing me to then get first in line every single time. I didn't wanna make this such a gotcha, but I think I got a few of you, maybe? Let me know, did I get you guys? Yes, no, let me know in the comments down below. Really, the purpose of this video, though, is really just to tell you and reinforce the point that you can't actually jump the queue. Ticketmaster has designed the queue in such a way that there is no magical formula used to get yourself to the front. Unfortunately, it's just not designed that way. It is completely luck of the draw, and the only way to really improve your odds is to watch a bunch of these videos that I do have up over here, as well as having more lottery balls in that bucket to give yourself the best chances possible to be one of the few who will be at the front of the queue. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Basically, if you're trying to buy some tickets, you have to go through the queue. It's better if you and three, four, five, a bunch of your friends all try to get tickets at the exact same time for the same event. That way, potentially one of you may actually get all the way in the front of the queue while the others may be mixed throughout the line itself. That's really the only way you can give yourself the best opportunity to get first in line because otherwise it's really totally random. I know it's not what you guys were expecting out of this video, but I did want to hammer home the point that it's actually not possible to get first in queue every single time. Now, if you do want to pump up your confidence a little bit, you can go ahead, try and do this with the Rolling Stones or a few other larger artists that do release new seats. Uh, you can certainly go ahead, do this, pump up that confidence, make it feel like, oh yeah, first in line, first in line, first in line, first in line. Do it a bunch of times, might make you feel like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get it first in line every single time when I go and buy those tickets. If you manage to stick around to this point of the video, one quick update, Toronto Blue Jays, they have recently announced on July 30th, they will be allowing fans back into the stadium. So I myself will be in attendance at this first game in Toronto against the Kansas City Royals. If you guys are going to be at that game as well, definitely reach out to me, Instagram, Twitter, at Thumbs Up Run. See if maybe we could hang out for a bit, chat for a little bit, discuss tickets, all that fun stuff. I'll be there, so it will be a great time for all. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.